We've just signed this agreement, but some people would say, isn't that an exaggeration? Is it not an exaggeration for Latin American scientists to participate in the nomination process for a prize in which Nobel Prize winners participate? Now, I don't think it's an exaggeration. That's the way we should do things. I think there is enough space and knowledge generated throughout our region in multiple areas where substantial progress has been made. A lot of very valuable knowledge of international importance has been developed. We have the potential to compete in the international area. I don't think this is an exaggeration at all. I don't think it's exaggerated either. In this last nomination cycle we had 36 countries, 94 applicants, but only two from Latin America, from Mexico and Uruguay. But I know the region, there are so many things going on. Now, we have three nominations. One is the traditional energy, the second one is for alternative energy, and the third one for new applications. In which categories do you think there is more room, more opportunities for Latin American researchers and managers? Our region has historically played a leading global role in renewable energy issues. It also has a significant potential in terms of resources and systems and processes for the incorporation of renewable energies. We have countries that are in the 100% renewable energy group, considering their electricity generation matrix. They are few at the global level. There is great progress. We have Brazil as one of the main producers of biofuels. We have countries that are in the 100% renewable energy group in terms of their electricity generation matrix. They are only a few at the global level. Brazil is one of the main producers of biofuels. A lot of research and development has been generated on biofuels. But this is unknown in the north. It has not crossed regional borders. Add to that the fact that, for example, there is a huge potential for the introduction of biofuels as aviation fuels. There is great potential for global energy transitions. Our region has a lot to contribute and to offer in these areas, but also in terms of new applications. Because the technology may be from somewhere else, but it is applied here and improves the life of, say, a rural community. And this is being internalized here and adapted to the realities of our region, because process innovation is not a minor issue. These are aspects in which our region has made truly progress. Andean countries mostly, or other countries as well? To give you an idea, the region has come a long way in the access to energy. 20 years ago, there were 60 million people in the region without access to energy. Today, in Latin America and the Caribbean, there are less than 18 million without access to energy. This is a huge step forward. It's a breakthrough which deserves the 540,000 US that we have in the prize fund.